for the many who feel he was unfairly singled out, it is pleasing to see Abbey 2.0 rack up the wins. September was his chance to return to Division 1 for the first time since his ban, but it did not start well. An inadvertent tug on Kaishaw's hair costing him match one. And, after this routine win, <laughs> tactical defeat to Bushozan in match three. The shorter man fending off with an inner defensive right. <laughs> then waiting for Abi to stand himself up with a predictable right led drive which exposed his armpit. Was Abi's inability to go left to cost him dearly at the higher rank? More fool us for worrying. Frontal attacks were more than enough to dispose of both off-color Tohakuryu and on-form Shohozan. <laughs> the combination of hand speed and power impressive. Weighty Dai Yamami was also beaten head-on collapsing his own solid defences with a hopeful pull. A barely mobile Hakuyozan was then gently nudged out, before Wakamoto Haru's voice was doubtless made croakier. Whether through awkward bends of his elbow here, or through a training move gone wrong, we cannot say, but Abby wrapped his right arm in tape from day nine onwards. Not that his thrusting was affected. Fellow pace setter Akua tried to exploit his stoop, but the force of the blows took him down first. And when Sadano Umi's arm pull tactic from July was read and responded to with fancy footwork, Abi made himself title favorite. Dai Shoho almost got him with a clanging left parry, but stumbled in his follow up and went to ground. Before Chudano Umi was bent backwards, knocked forwards, and bent backwards again, bringing up double figures. A vicious pounce on Koto Shoho's sideways shift made it 10 successive wins before this raging rhino charge put paid to Nishikigi and gave Abi the title with a match to spare. Had nearest rival Nishiki Fuji won that day, he'd have given this final bout far more meaning. Instead, it was all very end of tournament stuff as Nishiki lost first the Tachiai then his footing when trying to limply slip away. Abi therefore returns to the top flight on a run of 12 straight wins, and with three titles from four events. His low rank in November should allow him to challenge for honors again. I want to delight everyone who's stuck behind me, he vowed at the end of the tournament just gone. And he's not doing badly on that front.